the king baby yeah what is up youtube i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i want to bring you guys um <clears throat> a video about my settings i know you guys are curious about my settings and then if i do this video i can kind of just link this if anyone ever really asks about my settings so it just makes it easier for for me for you guys uh and then you can see everything specifically whenever you need to see it if you, you have an idea of something you want to change your key bindings to or something you'll be able to get everything in here so i'll just go over everything kind of at first and then i'll just talk about stuff specifically that i wanted to change or i did change because it was annoying where it was or annoying in general or yeah yeah if i turn it off turn it on move it whatever so video i play everything on maximum because i have my i have a, a nicer pc so i can kind of run everything on maximum resolution scale is 100 and uh borderless window i don't know why but i'm just a, a fiend i forget to turn it off uh, I sometimes do full screen for SPL sets, but uh, I don't know how important the effects are, but I have vertical sync off, ragdoll physics on, yeah, maximum high off, and then gamma is 2.2. Audio, not that important. Oh, I'm also going to turn the main volume off quick because he's going to start beating on my tower and it's going to say, hey, ally tower under attack. Music volume all the way off. The rest I have moved down a little bit. This was at 30, but I just moved it down. UI, uh, I have my health bar off, colorblind UI off. And I guess I'll just kind of show everything first because some of you guys don't really care about the explanation. You just kind of want to see everything. So I'll kind of just like kind of speed through it all semi quick. There's all that. The controls, targeting, ruler, and <laughs> Bob Esports. The spectators, not that important. Keybinds, a little more important. Guess I'll move so I don't get kicked. And then let's do the HUD editor quick. I guess I'll just move this kind of out of the way a little bit. So I have my team display just kind of out of the way a little bit to far left. Uh, I hate that there's so much stuff in the middle and it's kind of like blocks your screen. And I didn't care to have the surrender kind of in the middle. So threw it all the way. So it's more to the top left. Friendly desk, enemy desk, didn't really care to move it. I guess you might want to see what stuff I have off. I, think I turned a lot of this off before. Yeah, kill message notifications, a mini map, I have it more centered, uh, a little bit bigger. And then what's the word called? The opacity pretty low so I can see through it. Uh, upgrade display, the debuff bar, the buff bar. Uh, I like separating those. I think they're closer together. And I think the passive meters up here too. But I just, uh, there's just this open space down here. And that's just where I like my passive meter so I can find it pretty easily. Uh, the chat window, I made the chat window a lot smaller because it, when it's big and people spam type, it takes up like a lot of the screen. I moved objectives down. But yeah, that's this. Talk about everything kind of quickly. Just kind of let you guys know why I have everything. Yeah, I have this because I have uh, a PC that can run it. Uh, I don't know what most of this stuff does. I don't know if I've ever changed any of it, so I'll just skip it. Audio, not that important. I don't like having music on when I'm playing. I feel like it just kind of gets in the way. Like, like just, I, I want to be able to hear everything in the game. I, I, I don't really care for the little instrumental in the background. I have my SFX volume, not that high. Announcer volume a little bit lower too. Copyrighted music, because if I stream, I don't want to get copyright stricken, stricketh, struckith. I usually keep my voice chat off. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish voice chat was used a little bit more in Smite with uh, teammates, but I understand why it's not. I have sure your health off. It's the one that's above your, uh, your what's it called? Like right here. I have it off because it's just repetitive. Like you have this one here and then you have this one down here. It just like kind of gets in the way of everything and i think it just makes it more busy instead of just being able to look down here to see it so i turned that off colorblind ui not colorblind i know some people think it's better to have one of these i can't remember which one it is but one of them uh it makes like the enemy yellow and you blue or something like that and i don't like that i know they like that one but i don't know which one it is uh the ping block chat messages don't really care help tips off jungle markers off uh also with nameplates and uh so this is for the enemies so we'll say god name tag and player name it shows up on the enemies and it's just another thing that just kind of gets in the way like i've seen chiron hundreds of times i know what he looks like i don't need to see chiron above the god's name and i don't need to see who's playing the chiron like i it's it's a chiron and i know that's something that some people also turn off because they feel like they play worse than somebody they know or something so they play with it off but yeah i have that off hidden on the clan tag mana usage on th this is probably one of the most important things to turn on if you're new to smite just turn that on immediately. B being able to just see how much mana you're using on these instead of having to like... How much mana? How much mana? Am I running out of mana? I have enough mana. Like mana? Mana? Instead of just being able to look at it and see, oh, it's 20 mana to use that. Let's 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 use this ability. Uh, I have the combat tech scaling a little bit lower. The health power opacity a little bit lower. Uh, I don't remember if I move this down or up, but that's just like where I like it. Comfortable. 
profanity filter off because i swear streamer mode disabled i, th I think most of this uh, oh i think this is an important thing to have so now you can like type and it pops up 624 so you can call gold fury and it says it's 627 so you just add five minutes to that and it's up at 1127 627 1127 it's a really good thing to have on you don't have to actually be like gold fury 50 50. you can just say gold fury and then you'll know when it's up i just leveled my one Bacchus 1 op cast mode i think normal casting is good until you've played enough smite that you kind of know where every ability goes and then it's just, this is the quickest option. And a millisecond sometimes gets you killed in Smite. Being able to cast uh, by a millisecond faster. However quick, however more quick it is uh, than normal casting. It's just better. Huh. He just died. Uh, invert look off. Smooth mouth off. Turn that off. Camera pitch also off. Tweet about that today. Turn restricted camera pitch off. This, not being able to look past this, is so bad. It's like a really newbie thing to have on. Like if you still have it on, it was kind of like training wheels. Like it's time to take them off. Like you, you gotta, you gotta bring the bicycle out, put the tricycle away, start looking into the sky. You know what I mean? Controller sensitivity is whatever. I have mouse sensitivity 14. I think my DPI is 1600. So I have 1600 and 14. I used to have it at 15 and I turned it down one and I was like, that feels nice. So I kept it. Ruler, Aura's abilities say the distance that they go. So if you have a Sov, all allied units within 70 units. So you can kind of like give yourself a little marking of 70 units. Like that's, that's pretty chunky. Uh, being able to go in there for that. Um, this one's within 50, 55 units. So it's a lot shorter. Like right here instead of being all the way up here. So it's just things to like be able to gauge your auras. Being able to gauge jumps. Uh, auto attacks are 55 units. So if I'm standing here and he's standing right at that 55 unit line, he can auto me. If I back up and he's at the 70 now, you can't auto me. It's just simple things like that. And it's also, as a hunter or a mage, you have 55 units. Your Use it. Know where it is. is under attack. Okay, turning that off again. I have bracket highlighting it off because I I just kind of know when I'm going to be hitting an ability. But it's, I don't think it's a bad thing to have on. I don't have a reticle. Let, let's see what this is. because. Wait, I don't even get the point of it. Because it's not where you're looking at on the ground. Is that just... Yeah, I mean, it's worthless. I actually think it's worthless. Just turn ground target on. I think standard's fine too. I just like being able to see exactly where my ability is going to land if it's a, uh, an important Y-axis ability, which is just the line this way. So I think that is an important thing to have on. Use 2D ground target. Don't know what that does. Have it off. Always show ground target. Have off. Spectator not important. I'm a W A S A D gamer like most people. Was was sad. I might toggle run on my scroll down because I don't think you really ever need to zoom out or zoom back in. Wait, if I actually zoom out or zoom in, I have no way to zoom out. There we go. Now neither of them zoom in, and then mouse run, scroll down, jump space bar. I've turned this on and off a lot. It's because I got killed so much just jumping. And then eventually I just turned it back on because not being able to jump is so monotonous. Just walking back to lane like. I want to be able to jump this thing. Dude, I can't zoom out. <laughs> Space bar, jump, fire, cancel fire. I'm a QERF gamer, QERF. It just feels more comfortable than one, two, three, four. I don't like having to take my like fingers off my keys to be able to reach up. And I, I started getting like really bad hand cramps and wrist pain when I played on one, two, three, four. And it wasn't comfortable. The mouse buttons for relic one and two. Consumables are X, C, B is still back. Train ability I just have is one, two, three, four. It's just a lot easier. Free mouse is left alt. I hardly ever use that. I don't know why, but I just don't. Map, not important. Oh, that's for the map, I think, in um, a spectator. But yeah, that's like most of this stuff. I don't think any of the other stuff is as important either. I kind of went through this a while ago, but I don't know why. It feels like everything changed. Uh, I used to have some stuff off. Achievement, irrelevant. Buff bar relevant, chat window relevant. I also made this a lot smaller just because I, I felt like it got in the way so much. A debuff bar relevant, enemy deaths, I think is kind of relevant too. Irrelevant. Because you can just look up here to see if somebody's dead. Either way, I'll probably go through this some other time. But I moved the minimap, made it bigger, and moved it more towards the middle, and then lowered the opacity. And the, and the last thing I already talked about, the passive bar, buff bar, I think they were all like lined up right here. And I just want to be able to separate the buff bar and the debuff bar to see... Like, am I losing power? Am I gaining power? Do I have solve? Instead of seeing them right next to each other, I think it just makes it look cleaner, better. And no, this side's positive. I have a lot of positive buffs right now. This side's negative. I've got a lot of negative buffs. It just makes it easier for me. So 
that's what I have. Yeah, that's about it. Those are my settings. My HUD uh, displays too. I don't think anything else is really important. I use all abilities on Instacast except the triple bounce abilities. Kuzumbo one because it's important for clear and who you on which is important for clear. I think that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys, uh, yeah, enjoy, yeah, I d enjoyed the video because I don't think there's a lot of le to learn really. It's just kind of whatever is comfortable for you. If somebody says one, two, three, four is the best, it's not. It's the best for them. Find something that's the best for you, and that's basically what it comes down to. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time.